big shot. Oh, left hand. To the body. And it's a slice of the way. And it's a body statue. Big shot. Oh, and he cuts. He just missed that uppercut. You look down. Hey guys, today's video is going to be uh, about sidestep uppercuts, backstep straights, or the most common fight style we have in Fight Night Champion OWC. And that's a fight where people have reach, like this guy will look at his build, 84 reach, 240 pounds, 6'6". Six six. They cannot fight in the inside. We've seen that many times in other videos. But this guy's record was just crazy, you know. And I know what it is. I know what it is. It's what people are doing or they're getting caught with his back step straight. Maybe the side step uppercuts because they're annoying to some degree. But the back step straight is the one that's knocking everyone out. So in this video, I'm just going to go over a fight I have with this guy, and it's going to be really easy. So I'll just show you there's a couple tactics that I use, and but most of it is knowing what he's going to do. We know with his reach and his, his weight and his height, he's going to be reliant on that straight. And then eventually, you know, if everything goes well, he's going to end up looking real tired like that at the end. So let's get started with this fight. So he's a southpaw, so I'm going to switch immediately to orthodox because I know he's going to be straight heavy. If we look at this clip here, the right hook to the body from orthodox counters the southpaw straight. And it's going to do it like almost every time. As long as your timing's right, it doesn't have to be anything special or precise. If you just get the right hand in there, it's going to counter his back step straight. And everything with its 84 reach, what we want to do is we want to smother him as much as possible. Okay, now he's sliding to the side, sliding back. When they're sliding around, we do not want to punch. We have 10 rounds. We've got all kinds of time. We, we got the, the inside fighter brawler. We just take the, the, the uppercut. Now he keeps sliding to his left. So now we have a pattern. And there's the uppercut. So now we know the main strategy of his is going to be back step straights and side step uppercuts. That's super typical. That's like 80% of the people do that, especially people that have good records. And so we're going to stay on him you know we're going to slide in when we can smother him be ready for that back step straight by staying flat-footed and we're going to slide to the right with him as he slides to his left okay and there we go we got the the first back step straight in we need to make these miss this is why people are losing we got a little bit more on this at the end of the video but you see, I'm just throwing a body jab down there, staying right where I was, and I whip my head back. Because the more he misses, the the, the more tired he's going to get. And he wins all these fights from this one punch. So I don't want to see people walking into that, getting hit with that nonsense. Because if you can just manage to stand flat-footed when you punch until he's tired, you, you're good. You know what I mean? So we're going to just kind of, we're going to throw one, maybe two punches the first couple rounds at a time. One punch here, especially the body jab. We want these big misses because the game is going to, in between rounds, when it, when it calculates your percentage you get back, it's going to always give us more because he is going to get back a horrible percentage for his performance during the round. So we want these misses. So you want to trick him, make him punch, you know, hit his body a lot. So he's always stepping to his left. So I'm going to try and step to my right. And we want to work the body. Nothing crazy, nice and easy. And we're going to give ourselves one, maybe two pot shots or KO attempts just for fun. But especially if we miss it, we got to put it away. Put it away. And go back to just being we're consistent. We're going to make sure we hit him. See, so we step to the right, and you see I countered his his stepping out there to, the, to his left. So we just want to take it slow. Like I said, one punch at a time. If he's a southpaw, we're going to throw our right hand from orthodox. If he's an orthodox, we'll throw our, our left hand from the southpaw position. So we're going to slow the pace of this fight. We want the rounds to calculate. So the game says, hey, you missed all these punches. And the guy in the blue hair, Test My Gangster, 
he was pretty accurate, didn't throw a lot. They're going to give me back more stamina after the round. So after we you know, get later in the fight, I'm going to have way more stamina than him. I can be able to knock him out easy. But the main thing is getting there. And to get there, we cannot get hit with those step back straights. So I'm going to kind of st stop with that now, and we'll just keep carrying on here. I'm going to watch his right hand, his right, his, uh, or his left hand, I'm sorry. And now you see when he's close, look. Look at his, his glove is pointing down towards the ground. These big guys, they cannot fight on the inside. And their arms, like they gas out, they don't hit hard. So being close is good. And we're just being always ready. He's going to step back. So we make sure we're standing right in our same spot. And since he misses left, that gave me basically a free right, so I took it. But we have all kinds of time. There's no need to, to go crazy. And if we were throwing big combos at him, especially press the left stick at him, he would hit us with the back step straight, and we would be just another victim on his, his player hub. So anyway, we get back 97. We're at 97%. We got back, what, 12? Yeah, here we go. See... There's no way he's getting this. He's going to be probably 92, maybe even 89. And once the rounds keep calculating as it gets mid-fight, late-fight, that's going to be a huge, huge deal, and it's going to be very easy to knock him out. See, so simple punches, a lot of right-hand punches, or a lot of punches on the same side as his straight or a sidestep uppercut because he's stepping to the left also. He just we use his body jab, just one here and there because we it's not to hurt him or score, it's to get him to throw. That's all it is. There, there's my pot shot for the round. And we're gonna keep everything short because as soon as we open up, he's gonna step back, back step straight, and it's gonna knock us out. Yeah, so here I'm just showing him, yeah, I can do that bullshit too. So I just gave him a little back step straight myself, even though I only got one one stat on it, one green bar. Anyway, so we step with him, right? There's a side step uppercut, and we counter. All we got to do is step to the same side he steps and give him one punch down on that the same side as well. And you can see... See, we reset the block. We've done this before. You see my hands barely open up. We've done that, that, the reset the block. That's why people, you see their arms, you know, open and close and open and close. And because the sooner you close it before you get hit, the stronger the block. So we've done that in a bunch of other videos. That's like perfect block. I, I published that one about two months ago. It's in there. Okay, we notice in this round, I'm not doing as good as I did the first round. I should probably slow it down a little bit. And what's going to happen with this is when the round breaks over, I'm going to get back less stamina recovery because of things like that, that like that, all those misses and he's hitting me more. So in this particular case, not really a big deal because this guy is, I can feel him really gassing out pretty quick and, and by the look of him, you know. But, uh, yeah, ideally, you know, you want to slow your pace down once you catch yourself, like, getting sloppy, you know, and try to get back to get the, the high accuracy, don't get hit as much, and don't miss any, as many punches. You know, so I should have slowed it down and reverted to what I was doing in round one. Now, we'll watch, we'll watch uh, at, after the round break here, we'll watch my uh, recovery. It's not going to be as good. But anyway, we step with him. See, he's stepping side step to, to the left. We're going to flick the stick so we we slide to the, to the right. So we just counter him. Yeah, see, my recovery is not as good. And that's because we missed punches. We got hit more. And we did more activity. So we need to really catch ourselves when we find ourselves doing that. And I go southpaw here. I just want to try a few things. And also, you know, the just try it out. You know, I'm just messing around here. And in this case, what we want to do is like now you see I'm starting to use my right hand still a lot. 
And now look, I'm walking. See, I didn't, I didn't keep my stick still. And I walked with my feet. And that's why I got hit with that back step straight. I think I've been hit twice. But now watch the damage. Bottom left of the yellow uh, bar. That one punch. Watch the stamina that drains. Or the health. That one single back step straight just destroys your stamina. It's, it, it's a knockout punch for sure. That one got changed in the last patch. And it's hundreds and thousands of people are complaining about because it it's so powerful. But it is what it is. So we need to really, really not get hit with that back step straight. You saw the damage it does. Okay, and I'm still using that body jab, but this time it's uh, even though I have one green bar on it, you know, it's uh, we just want him to, to throw his punches, you know, and that will actually protect us from his, his straight also because it's the, the low punches to the body under their straights, so whether it's the orthodox or southpaw. So, in this case, the you know, even though it's one green bar, it's still gonna it'll still interrupt his straight if I land it right. Okay, see him? Look at his body language. He's missed too many of those. And now you see me. I, I'm stepping to the to my left this time. To, and it's, it's not working out. You know what I mean? Like, if this was a super important fight, I, I would have had to have gone back to what I was doing earlier. But I, I think his body has no stats or something because he, he got tired pretty quick. But see, this guy wins all time only because he lands that back step straight and takes off that those the health off you, those huge chunks, you know? Look. See, look, he's about done. And this is importance too. When you have a short guy, you want like strong body shots, you know, either uppercuts or hooks. Super important so you can find the inside. I don't know what this guy's doing right now. Yeah, he's done. You know, he just missed too many. And they, you know, and if you're doing this, which a lot of you people probably will be because most people fight like that. Like once you miss some of those, man, you got to stop. You got to stop and change your, your tactics. So I'm at 86 now. That could be way better. But there's no, we saw him. He's probably, by the way he was looking, I don't know, I'm going to say like 60s maybe, if that. And the score, it doesn't really matter. When you know you're going to wear someone out, um, especially they're throwing these big punches, these hard straights and everything, and side step up because they score so well. Yeah, just, you know, forget about winning those early rounds. Now you see that body jab being level one, it, it stopped him there. Yeah, that's just killing him. Yeah, we give, remember we're going to clinch up to three times per round, not consecutively though. And see, I just took a piece of stamina off him because he, when you clinch after they miss a big, huge shot and they don't push you off, it will take some stamina off him and you. But since I have so much more, I, I could do it. In fact, I didn't want to be a jerk, this guy, because this guy like never quits and he fights everybody. So, you know, I'm not saying like he's a bad dude or nothing. And, and I didn't want to like be real cheap with him, you know, but, and so, and everybody fights like this anyway, so I'm not really sweating it. I don't have a problem, but I, I, I don't want to see people losing to this though. That's why I made this video. I'm in the process now. He's about done, but I'm in the process. I found this video from, cause I'm just building a huge catalog. that's like organized for inside fighters instead of making other videos for now. And that short lead hook I got, that that will uh, counter his straight also. But yeah, there we go. That's the story of the fight. Missing these straights like that, you just cannot do that, man. You cannot do that. And this is how, like, I win so many fights. It's like not even me winning. I didn't do anything to win. They, they beat themselves, you know. Yeah, he's done. 
And now I can just go in, even if he does land the back step straight, because it's exhausted. See, watch that. I don't even need to worry about it. I can just go in and overpower him now. Yeah, so, you know, that's what I like to see people do is, is stand flat-footed, don't get hit with that back step straight, and win fights like this. You know, just take your time. You have like a half hour. Okay, yeah, and you see the stats basically tell the story too. You know, he uh, landed the same amount of straights as me, but I threw less than half that he did. And you see, they just win, 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 win. And that's because people are getting hit with that back step straight. So... You know, I have other videos, too, that I cover that a lot of them. You know, you should really watch those if you have a problem with these these type of players. Uh, because, like, and, like, Kaiser's a good player. Uh, respect my friends. A, good, a lot of those guys are good players. But the problem is, so, look, 24%. And he, he threw so many. And that's what caused the, the, the loss for him. So, you need to catch yourself. If that's you, you're... Like, you got to catch yourself on these, these low percentage punches. Switch to something else. Like, his left uppercut was way better. Should have went with that or something. And you should be up in the 55 or 65 uh, total connect percent, you know. You, uh, the Find a decent fighter, like 40 is not going to do it. And look, this is common. Watch. See, this is the first round. Look at this guy. Where's he going? Like, never let those people beat you, man. You, you let go of the left stick. You'll stay where you are. You have, like, a half hour. You, you can throw so many punches. And we're going to look at flat-footed versus not flat-footed here. So he wants to run away. It's round one. Let him go. See, not that's a flat-footed punch. See, my feet are right where they are. Now, that's not. What happens is when you throw the not flat-footed, you go into him when they back up. When they jump backwards, it creates this huge counter window, and it just adds like more tw doubles or triples the damage of their straight. So you cannot get hit with those. Just it's better to miss the punch and be flat-footed than not. And like this is Samuel Kramer. Like this is a great fight. I'm going to link to it. This guy is 71 and zero. And what's going on? You'll see this guy cannot combo, man. I'm telling you, all he has is that straight. Like we're going to see. Just this is just a quick. You know, quick clip here. Now, see, he keeps sliding backwards, sliding backwards. And now look at him. He tries a combo. Look, he's gassed right there already. First combo of the fight. Watch watch him. Watch his body. It's because he's 6'8 with 88 reach. He's got the, the Tyson build, and he's got 260 pounds. And they cannot combo on the inside. And now watch. He sees paused. There's step back straight. Watch. Watch. Here, go again. Step back straight. See, you got to know these are coming. When they have that reach, the big, long reach, big, tall guys, they, they cannot hurt you, man, in the inside. So anyway, here's some highlights. Okay, what I did here real quick was I just watched some, some clips and I put a little flame over their head when I thought they were going to do a step back straight. And you'll see it's like correct almost every time. So what you want to do is really watch your fights. Be very careful of that because you, you will completely change your wins and losses and how well you do online if you can just stay away from those. And it's once you get practiced watching for it and you start off slow, it, you know, it really becomes very easy. And then you got these guys with these big long arms, they're, they cannot fight with you. You know, and it becomes so slow, like watch this guy. And then you start learning how to counter them. Like watch this one. I let him throw it. I know he's going to throw it. And I just counter him back and then I catch him. The same with this guy coming up right here. See, he gets overhand. I know he's going to do it. This guy's going to get a leaping left hook after after his step back. See, you got to, you got to. It will completely change your game if you can just stay away from these. And it's not that I can't do it. Like, I can do better than most of the people that do it. I can do body shots. I can do jabs. I can do straights. I can do uppercuts. I can do hooks. Do overhands. Anyway, see, when we're fighting on the big inside with the big guy, there he goes. Okay, and watch this guy. He's just waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. Watch. When he pauses, that means he's going to go for it. So he's just waiting and waiting. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clinch him and I'm going to try to hit him. You either do that or push him. See how he's just waiting? But we don't want to let him have it. But shout out to this dude, dude. He, he gives me a hard fight every time. I like, the, like he mostly wins. And here, like here, we got another big giant guy. Watch this. This is how this guy wins too. That's all he can do. And then, like, they're going to be done, especially these big Tyson build dudes. They're going to be done in like three rounds. You just got to make sure that you don't get hit with that. That's your your whole game plan for the first four rounds. No step back straights. That's just, that's just, this guy's going to end up after the starting round two, he's going to have like 85 stamina. I'm going to be like 97. See, he's waiting, waiting, waiting. So we give him a push. See? This guy was the one we just fought last. So here. Yeah. See, when they're waiting and they're sliding around, that's what I mean. So, and in this video, look on my my channel. There's, it shows the big inside fight. The big guys cannot fight in the inside. So it's important that we understand. Big guys cannot hurt you in the inside as long as you got the right build. You know, you're, you got a decent build. Especially inside fighter or brawler. So firstly, you don't need to worry about them on the inside. They're not going to fight in the inside anyway. They're going to like come up and start punching a little bit. And then they're going to go flying backwards, back steps straight. And th the reason why we want to work the body really good is so they slow down gradually. And then later, we want the rounds continuing to pass. That way, they got lower and lower stamina. So that step back's much slower. Then you can actually even start countering them. You can say, okay, I'm going to throw a, a hook to the body. He's going to step back. I'm going to lean back. And then I'm going to hit him with a straight. Like, you know what I mean? It's easy. It's easy. No one should be losing to these people that basically rely on the step back straights, man. So, uh, anyway, what I'm getting at here is so I'm going to have more videos, but uh, I kind of put it, I've been MIA, M M I A, missing in action on YouTube for quite a while now. I've been busy with a lot of things and uh, just haven't been into it. Uh, I haven't been logged in on my account here. So, anyway, what I'm working on doing now is just a full playlist that goes from start to finish with inside fighter and like a real inside fighter like the the straight has like no stats on it the hooks and uppercuts do it's gonna be short it's gonna be stocky you know how i do it yeah so and then and work on you know some of the anti-spam stuff like i already have but just touch on it but the main thing is gonna be like the stamina and uh, letting the fights progress and all that uh, so someone can start learn from start to finish because I think you know I'm just I, I watch fights all over YouTube and I see some a few here and there inside fighters real ones and um, there's still a few things I see they that they're, they're missing on but a lot of them are doing really good but there's a few things like taking rest rounds and things like that so that's what I'm working on now I want to finish that before I start anything else because I'm too sporadic and I don't think with my videos being so long and I keep jumping around I don't think people are absorbing everything I'm trying to show at least that's what the videos are showing me but anyway in the description will be linked and that will be to uh, a great fight with Samuel Kramer he's like one of my favorite people to watch he's, he's got great videos he he wins like almost like every fight he beats the big spammers without spamming them without he does i never seen that guy do a step back straight not one time but the, so he's a savage you know and he and he does it as a real inside fighter he goes up and beats people down that's you know you never seen like mike tyson do a step back straight you never see david Turu do a step back straight like those are real inside fighters man the people that, that say they're inside fighters in this game and they load up their straight and then they step back they're always running away from you that's not inside fighter that's a straight spammer that wants 99 strength for the inside fire. But anyway, everybody take care, and um, hopefully in a week or so I'll be back. Thank you.
where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. The body snatchers doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. The body snatcher showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the head shot. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead. Think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement. Very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. And now they're trading blows. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance, created a hole. And he filled that hole. Well, he goes to the gut with a right hand. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see.